Hi, I'm Father Patrick Wainwright. Father Jerome Nadal was one of the first companions of St. Ignatius of Loyola, and he would describe St. Ignatius as a contemplative in action. Now, these two words, contemplative and action, uh, come from the Gospel. In Luke chapter 10, uh, we read about uh, Jesus visiting the house of Martha and Mary and Lazarus, and while they had a dinner uh, banquet, um, Mary was at the feet of Jesus, listening to him and absorbing every word that he said while Martha was busy working and serving everyone. And Martha complained uh, to Jesus, why uh, is Mary there without uh, not helping me? And Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you're busy with so many things. Martha has, uh, Mary has chosen the best part. So these two um, sisters have been typically seen as an image of uh, contemplation and action. Mary is the contemplative life, the life of prayer, and Martha the life of action, uh, service, and help to all those around us. So sometimes uh, these two might have been uh, considered as almost opposed to each other. Like when we're praying, we're devout. When we're uh, doing some activity, we forget about our devotion. So instead of that, uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola uh, gave us an example of being contemplative in action. And what does that mean? That while he uh, did pray and dedicated long hours to prayer and contemplation, he would then uh, dedicate himself to his activities, but with his heart still placed in God, doing everything for Jesus, doing everything in Jesus, with a spirit of devotion, with a spirit of love for those around them. And this is why Father Jerome Nadal indicated that it was important not to separate these two things, but to bring them together. And he wrote in his journal, I do not want you to be devout and spiritual only when you celebrate Mass or when you are in prayer. I want you to be spiritual and devout when you devote yourself to an activity, so that in your very works there will radiate a full force of the Holy Spirit, of grace and of devotion. And this is what we should do too. We should try to dedicate our time to prayer, but when we are doing our activities throughout the day, to keep a spirit of prayer, a spirit of contemplation, a spirit of love for Jesus Christ to the best of our ability. And in that way, we too and you too will be contemplative in action. May God bless your day.